crafters, this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you a tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That. For today's tutorial, we're going to sublimate another product that I put in my I didn't know I needed or wanted category. And that is this 4-in-1 can cooler. So it comes with the lid and this is... So you can drink directly from the lid. There is also a straw inside. And you can pour your drinks, <clears throat> your cold drinks, excuse me, directly in to um, this can, or you can actually place a 12 ounce soda can because the can cooler also comes with an interchangeable lid so that you can just drink directly from the can. So this will help keep your drink cooler for a longer period of time. How awesome is this? This also will hold um, the skinny drinks like the, the monster drinks. Uh, what else? I think the claw, the claw, but the, the skinny cans also uh, work well in here. So I am very excited. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my spray bottle of rubbing alcohol and I'm going to spray it just lightly on the can and I'm going to wipe it. I'm going to remove any loose particles, any debris. All of it has to do. Okay. So I have my design here. And I cut my design to be 10 and 1 8 of an inch. And uh, by 6 inches. So my height is 6 inches. My width 10 and 1 8 inches. So I'm just going to uh, grab this. I'm going to um, line it up. Going to place this down on a flat surface, and I do apologize if you guys can't see me. There you go, I think I made some room. Okay, and I'm just going to time this and I'm going to pull it, and you can see that they, they meet up rather nicely. Um, so I'm actually going to go to the bottom and do this. So I'm just pulling my paper and I am going to have to, to lay it down so I can see. I'm just checking guys. I probably could have done 10 and, no 6 and 1 8, maybe 6.1. So maybe try making your design 6.1. See a little smidge. Where I could have um, got a little closer to the top. So try ten and one eighth by six point one. And then I am using my tumbler press to do this today. If you do not have a tumbler press, you can use a convection oven. And for your convection oven, you want to do this at 375 degrees for six minutes. For my tumbler press, I'm going to do 375 degrees for 60 seconds. Uh, no, I'm going to do 70, 70 seconds. 
and then I'm going to rotate in my tumbler press. I'll rotate and I'll do it for about 60 seconds. So I reinforce the bottom with tape. And then I'm also going to use my silicone band on the top and bottom for added pressure. As always, you want to be careful when you're adding the silicone band. A lot of times I accidentally rip the paper at the top. If you are using a convection oven, you don't need to use silicone bands. Um, you actually don't need to use them for your tumbler press. Uh, that's just a preference uh, for myself. But if you're doing this in a convection oven, you do want to use shrink wrap. Shrink wrap will give you an extra layer of pressure because when you stick it in your oven, even after you use your heat tool to shrink wrap it to the tumbler, any excess air will further squeeze the tumbler once um, it gets inside your convection oven. All right, so I think I have it. For my tumbler press, I am going to use a sheet of copy paper just so I don't have ink bleeding through onto my plate. And I like to start with my seam side down. Um, so what I did, I taped the bottom, just like you saw in the previous video. And I also put tape on the top. So I taped it this way and the tape is just folded over. So I have my two bands at the top, my two bands at the bottom, and I'm just going to repeat the process. So uh, 70 seconds, I do. I like to do my seam side down first, and I'm gonna go up to 375 degrees. Once it finishes that 60 seconds, I'm gonna rotate it over where my seam side will be up, and I'll do it for another 70 seconds, maybe 60 seconds. So stay tuned for the reveal. So I wanted to come back and make sure I showed you guys the, the finished product. Just have the emergency numbers. And I like it. I like the way it came out. Gotta keep the paper stuck in here. So again, you can interchange this if you just want to put a can inside. You would use the open top. And if you want to drink directly from it, you use the sippy top. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.